All right, guys. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on Mark Cuban helping out Delonte West? I love Mark Cuban. I actually, when I started, like, understanding who Mark Cuban was, it wasn't through him being the owner of the Mavericks. It was because of Shark Tank. Oh, Shark Tank. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. like, insane business guy. Uh, but, yeah, no, that's a, that's a power move, bro. Just, you know, helping out people who need it. Um, I heard he took him into rehab, and he told him, like, yo, I'll pay for everything. I just saw a video of someone recording uh, Mark Cuban putting him in, like, his Tesla, and then, like, they took off or whatever. Yeah, I but, saw that too. Uh, yeah, so. he's always been a different kind of owner. He was like the first of his kind. He was. I feel like tech he's guy. real. Like he's with the people. Like he's not afraid. Like uh, yeah. the most iconic moment of, for me for of Mark Cuban was when he went at it with Skip Bayless. I don't know if you ever seen. Yeah, that. Oh, he yeah, where he's yeah, basically him. like destroying yeah, Skip Bayless. Yeah, Skip Bayless. Like, yeah. and then Stephen A. knows that like Mark Cuban knows what he's yeah, talking about. He's just there, like just. Yeah, just watching on the side. And then he's like, so, do yeah. I keep him or Max Kellerman? No, that's not what happened. <laughs> that, uh, oh, how great like would it be butter. for Skip and Steven A to be back together? Steve, like, pe- that oh. peanut butter and jelly, bro. That's what I would always say. Nah. Like, that was, they were that was so good. Yep. Yeah, so good. But yeah, no, uh, Mark Cuban, uh, big props to Mark Cuban for sure. Yeah, I think he's always been a different generation of fucking GM or ma- owners. Owners, yeah. They were t- he was talking about how he used to be on the court. And that wasn't allowed, and like the the fucking the NBA kind of started to allow him to be on the court because he was out he was there like, like the talking shit to the yeah, players. He was like, he was like a, a fan. fan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just a fan who bought a team. Um, but I mean, Delonte West, man, I guess he's smoking crack over there in fucking Texas, bro, and ending up living on the riverbeds. How do you? That's like one of the craziest stories in the history of the league, bro. Somebody who is obviously a multi-millionaire because even in his era, he made multi millions. Mm-hmm. But he's right. from that era where like people weren't smart with money. Nah, that's probably. True. I feel yeah. like today we have more resources, and true. it's very easy to be informed. Back then, it was just a, a lot of athletes era. went broke. Yeah, back it's then, it's just yeah. a different era, at least for me. Um, but but shout out to Mark Cuban. And Mark Cuban. yeah, for Go. helping him out. I know LeBron podcast, offered to man. help him out like a couple of years ago as well. And it's like, honestly, about Delonte West, I want to say like, <laughs> dude, I th- can we? I just want to talk about him smashing LeBron's mom <laughs> for a second. I just for a second. Wait, wait, what? I just Delonte West. I didn't want to say. I didn't want to say. I didn't know that. What are you talking about? Delonte West smashed LeBron's mom back in the day, but. <laughs> I'll say this about Delonte West. Maybe, and this is like, who knows how, how long he's been smoking crack. You think he was doing that shit during the league, bro? You think he was doing these crazy hard drugs? Oh, I don't know. And, and the, the next thing is, you're an NBA star, a multimillionaire, and you choose your teammate's mom, bro, out of all the people. like And the you, GOAT. I don't know, LeBron's don't know mom. About this. Come yes, on, dude. In 2010, that's why he wanted out of Cleveland. They were in Cleveland together. I'm he just saying, He was beefing though. with Delonte did, West with his he teammate. Leave? When did, or not leave, but stop playing? Who? Deontay. Mm, Deontay I think West? he ended Deontay. in Dallas. That's why he might, he yeah. played for Dallas. So yeah. That's why he was uh, from Cleveland to Dallas, I believe. And then maybe he broke up with his mom and then LeBron was. <laughs> I mean, dude. I don't want to no. joke. I don't want to joke no, about Le- this. No, LeBron offered to I pay. don't want to joke about this. I don't know anything about this. LeBron offered This is fucked up. It's like <laughs> kicking it wide. I don't no, want to do no, that. No. No. LeBron offered to pay for Delonte West. And yes. like for him to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, that is like you are above us as people right here because if somebody sure. smashed our mom, <laughs> we're probably going to take that pretty fucking personal, dude. Honest to God. And LeBron was like uh, above it. He came out in the media and was like, I will pay for Delonte West. But I guess it's just want him, Delonte himself, wanting to be put in the fucking program. It's yeah. not on everybody else. I guess yeah. it's like. I think what Mark Cuban did was actually take him there and like gave money to him to pay for the rehab. He gave money to his family. Um, I think a lot of, I think even before Mark Cuban, a lot of players trying to reach out to him. But like at the same time, going to rehab is your choice. It's not right. like you can't, can't force, force him. It, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think this time he actually was like, all right. But it's just crazy to see that like an NBA player is fucking homeless. Dude, it'll be once happen in a lifetime. It's happened to everybody in different areas. Uh, well, I don't know about the homelessness. Like going from that rich to that poor, that's like once in in the light. I don't think there's ever been an NBA star who's, who's been fucking. Or I don't uh, maybe there is NBA players who've been homeless. I don't know if Man, you remember crazy, that. Though. Do you remember like I think it was in the '80s or '90s where the Celtics had like the number three pick or some shit, and that fool was like out celebrating and he was taking yep, cocaine. Yeah, I heard of this. Yeah, yeah, and he died. He died. He died off of the cocaine. I did hear about this. Yeah. I was just like, there's fuck. a thirty for thirty about that. I believe that's how I that's how I remember it. Right. I saw it on fucking. I think it was on ESPN. Yeah, ESPN thirty for thirty. Fuck, dude. I was just there's party stories. And this fool is just out. 
drink or drinking and yeah, he tried it, I guess, with his homies. It was like one or two homies in there that did it and like fucking died over that. That's crazy, bro. Okay, you know. <laughs>